what's good? This is Chef David Olson with Live Fire Republic. We've landed here in the very western shores of Pure and Wild, Michigan. As you can see behind me, we're in an airport. It's a private airport here. And momentarily, my very good friend Ruben is gonna be coming down from the blue skies above to meet us here. He's the founder of Washington Avenue Advisors and Flying with Founders. And today is taking us on the hunt over Lake Michigan for the most beautiful, breathtaking golden sand beaches anywhere on God's green earth. And it's in that location that tonight we're throwing down the ultimate live fire Dungeness crab seafood boil. I promise my friends, you don't wanna miss this. Let's go. What's good? What's going on? What's up, man? Hey, good to see you, buddy. Nice day we got. Here we go. Ruben's in the house, man. We have such a crazy day. He flew in from the other side of the state to meet us here. Yeah, we're heading out over Lakeshore, looking for a good spot, right? That's exactly right, man. So we're on a crazy adventure today. Ruben and I have literally been from one end of the world to the other together. And today, man, yeah. it's a hunt across here. This pure. isn't Patagonia today, but West Michigan, Forget about it. Good. Let's uh, let's buckle up, man. What are we gonna All do? Right, let's go. All right, here we are. Yo, man, that was insanely cool. I've never seen Michigan like that before. Oh, good. Yeah, that's, that's doing it the right way. Above all, two of my very favorite things. Number one, two things. We found the beach, the middle of nowhere. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to, to actually get out there for the cook. There's no other way to do that than flying. But the second thing, we la the landing was amazing. I'm on solid ground. Yeah. We're ready to go. I know you got to get out and fly on to the next stop, but we're going to... Um, we're gonna part ways here, man. All We're right. on to the cook. You're on back to the blue skies. Sounds good. Until next time, my friend. See ya. Be good. And if you can't be good, just don't let it be on social media. Yeah. <laughs> I told you guys we were going all in on this episode. You saw this great state from 6,000 feet as we cruised atop the Great Lakes and we found the most desolate, beautiful white sand beaches with this incredible aquamarine blue background. And it's here that our fires get lit. Tonight, we're doing Dungeness Crab Boil all over live fire. Let's go. Now the thing I love about seafood boils is there's a million ways to make it happen. Tonight, we're using Dungeness Crab these beautiful oversized clams, Prince Edward Island mussels, a trio of heirloom potatoes, fresh Michigan sweet corn, lemon, garlic, red onion, shallots, 
We have a beautiful array of U4 and 6 prawns, hot sauce, smoked soy, olive oil, and an array of homemade seasonings. We're gonna show you here how to do seafood boil live fire style. Now, no one comes to my house in Michigan and does a seafood boil with water. That seems to me un-Michigan. Tonight, we're filling up this pot with a little bit of light-hearted ale from Bell's Brewery, my hometown beer. Some folks would say this is a waste of a good beer. I'm telling you, this is an investment into the best seafood boil you've ever had. All right, I know it looked like your grandmother going to her weekly book club meeting, but listen, inside of here is about 20 pounds of seasonings. I'm gonna show you right now the mix that we're gonna use to create the ultimate seafood boil seasoning. Let's go. Now most folks make the mistake of dunking their veg, sausage, and seafood into the pot at the exact same time. What's important to note is each of these items take a different period of time to cook and finish at different temperatures. Today, we're gonna start with our veggies. They take the longest to cook and garner a fork tenderness. Crab, sausage will be the last in. Now for the veggies, we're cutting the corn into fours. I just roll across and slide roll across and slide the blade through. Just that easy. Now here is exactly what you're looking for. We have another four ears of corn to go. Let's get on with it. Veggies in. Prepared veggies, lemon, onion, corn, and taters down. Now it's time to fish. I wish they called it uh, catching and not fishing. I guess tonight it's just beer drinking. <laughs> There we go. Whoa. 
Look at that. Oh. It's sweet. It is. It's so ridiculously good. You have the herbs, the spices, the lemon. You have the seasonings, but that that Dungeness crab is ridiculously good. That is so good. Let's get this off the fire and let's get folks fed. Let's go. Yo, what a ridiculously cool day here in the great state of Michigan alongside my buddies Ruben and Alex. You just saw live fire Dungeness crab boil on the shores of Great Lake, Michigan. Now, if you love this episode as much as we loved making it happen, smash that subscribe, like, hit us up with a comment down below, and don't forget to turn the bells on. We're literally doing hundreds of episodes just like this across the entirety of God's Green Earth and bringing live fire cooking to you like you've never seen it before. Now, time for talk is over. Let's dig in. Oh, I think that one was perfect. <laughs> oh. So good. Stay hungry. Lots of it, buddies. Three. Too many beers. Three. <laughs> All right. Full disclosure, we're not here to get the crab sloppy drunk. We did a half and half combo, six beers to about a half gallon of water. That's all you need. Now for the onion, there's I do have sand on the lens. Just the heads up. I got corn juice on the lens. Oh. <laughs> The video, I wish it was recording. Is it recording right now? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I am so glad that's recording right now. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I got to deal with around here. You know, I'm here to cook food, be in beautiful locations, and that's the mug I got to stare at all day long. Someone's got to do it. You're so lucky. <laughs> You're so lucky. I am so lucky.